Nope, nope. <laughs> Ridiculous. So I am on my way to my first in-person audition in three and a half years. <laughs> and yes, that is before the pandemic. <laughs> and I am nervous and excited and scared and just feeling so many emotions, but grateful and eager and terrified. Um, so I thought I would kind of take you along on what it feels like to um, audition for a musical theater show. Um, I didn't really vlog, like speak vlog this morning. Um, so first here's a little montage of me getting ready for the audition. I'm nervous. I'll see you after the audition. All right, I did it. I'm all done with my audition. Um, I, I feel good about it. I feel like that was a really good audition considering I haven't done it in three and a half years. And was it perfect? No, I definitely had some mishaps because of nerves, but I, I'm so proud of myself that I, I came back out here and I did it. And um, whether I get cast in this show or not, I'm so proud of myself for getting back into it and auditioning because um, I've been too scared to. I've, I've signed up for many auditions over the past two and a half, three and a half years. And um, I psyched myself out and would cancel. Um, but I did it this time and I actually came and auditioned and I'm just really proud of myself. <laughs> so I just went to Target for the first time since my injury and um, maybe I've gone too much. So I, I originally went because Anthony needed um, some more airport snacks because Bryce didn't have some of the, I'm like, you. Um, because Bryce didn't have some of the airport snacks, so I got him some blueberry fig bars. And then he likes the sweet, the smart sweet peach rings. And then I also got me some Reese's as a job well done for my audition. And then I got me a face mask to do this weekend. Anthony's gonna be gone, so I thought a nice face mask, self care night would be good to do. I also got this e.l.f. sunscreen. It's a spray sunscreen. I feel like that's gonna be really helpful for me. Oh, it's sun protection and a setting spray. Go e.l.f. Cool. I got that, and then I also got this. All right, so I just dropped Anthony off at the airport. He is going to a bachelor trip this weekend, so it's another weekend. Home alone. <laughs> um, I actually ended up starting this vlog earlier because of my audition that I had last night. Um, and I truly didn't film enough for that to be its own standalone video, so we'll just include that on my weekend. Um, but now I'm back home, so I'm going to get started with my day, um, make breakfast, coffee, 
get some work done. I have a babysitting job tonight, um, which I am not excited for because, um, so I work with a babysitting company called Busy Bees located here in Arizona. And it's a group job that I did because it's pretty relatively close to my house. But um, it requested 10 bees. So, like, I'm terrified to see how many kids there's going to be. And I got to find my shirt. We have specific shirts we're supposed to wear on jobs. And I don't know where mine is. So, I got to find that as well before my babysitting job tonight. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and make breakfast and get my day started. I got Penny on my desk with me. I don't have a little light, so it's a little dark, but... <laughs> okay, so I just got back from my babysitting job. It truly wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, and it was funny enough, there was actually a girl there named Raylan. <laughs> so every time the other teacher would call her name, I was like, what? So weird. Um, <laughs> and then there was supposed to be a kid who didn't show up, but, but there was going to be a kid named Penelope. So that would have been really funny. Anyway, so as I was walking back to my car to the babysitting job, I get an email and I got a call back. <laughs> I got a call back for the ensemble. So I have to go to the dance audition tomorrow morning. I am just excited and nervous especially because I definitely don't feel like I am up to par to what I would like to be for a callback and I knew that going in that if I had to dance for this audition that like I wasn't going to be able to dance as well as I could because of my knee um, I still haven't gained my full flexibility back in my right knee from the accident and then because I've been kind of like having to sit down a lot to elevate my right leg. I feel like my left leg has lost a lot of flexibility as well. Um, but I'm still just going to give it my all and just leave it, leave it on the dance floor. <laughs> um, so it's about, about 1030. So I'm going to have a little snack and then I'm going to do some light stretching tonight, take my nightly shower and then go to bed because, um, the callbacks at nine in the morning. And I want to wake up, get a, um, get a light workout in before to get my muscles moving and ready. And then, of course, I gotta get ready, eat breakfast, all that shebang. So, I gotta wake up pretty early. So, I gotta get some sleep. Um, so, <laughs> I'm so excited. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is... About 6.20 in the morning, so I got a little bit of a later start than I wanted to. I did have a little trouble waking up this morning. Oh, but I'm awake, I'm dressed. I've given the dogs their food and water, so now I'm going to head down to the gym, get some work in, uh, get a little workout in, get my body warmed up and ready, and then we'll come back, shower, eat breakfast, do hair and makeup, get dressed and everything for the, the callback, so let's get at it. <laughs> Okay, all done with our little workout. I did the elliptical for about 10 minutes and then I did some stretching, I did some crunches, some yoga. My body feels pretty good and awake, so now I'm gonna go shower, make breakfast, and start getting ready. And coffee. My poor eggs did not want to flip correctly. Alright, I'm all ready to go. I got my leotard on. I got a cute little skirt. 
hair and makeup's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and head out and arrive to the callback early so that I can get another stretching in before the dance callback starts. So I will see you guys after the callback. Okay, so I just got done with my audition. Um, that was the best dance audition I have ever had. Thank you for the past two and a half years of focusing on dance that really paid off. <laughs> And then I wasn't going to do the tap call because I'm not a strong tap dancer. But like halfway through, I was like, eh, eh, okay. And so I went in and I like learned the last half of the tap call. Luckily, it was all steps that like I know. And was able to like kind of put it together and do the last one. It was, I tried my best. That's what matters. Um, so now I'm all done. I'm gonna go get myself a treat for a job well done. Go home to the puppies and the cast list should be out either tonight or tomorrow. So I'll find out if I get cast or not. So good morning and welcome to service. Hello. My name is Jeremy. What can I do for you? Can I please do a grande iced caramel latte with almond milk? Um, can I do an extra pump of caramel in that? Um, and then can I also do a Cheese Danish. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you. You too. Okay, so if you've watched any of my past vlogs, especially my first one and then my second one, I think, um, you know that I, I struggle with pulling out my own personal pizza from the oven. So um, we're going to try this. If you see the mess in my kitchen, don't worry. I'm currently working on it, so don't, don't mind it. Um, but the first time I tried to... Oh, get the pizza out by myself. Usually Anthony gets the pizza out. Um, I don't have any little plates for my little pizza. I gotta use a big plate. Anyways, um, usually Anthony gets the pizza out. And so when I try to do it by myself, <laughs> the first time he was gone for the weekend, I my pizza went whoop, and like all the cheese fell off. The second time I did better, and I think I figured out the method where you just kind of go like this which is like so easy and like every time I get my pizza so nicely I question how I messed it up so bad that one time <laughs> 